Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. That's right, we're coming at you, 22 August, it's Thursday today. Really, really boring week, my god. What the hell? Euro's trapped in a 20-point range. Dollar Yen's sitting here like a duck. 106.40. Aussie, got a little bit of movement last night in the Oz, um, PMIs came out a little bit negative, um, but still, Aussie's just sitting, sitting and chilling, not doing much, like now we think it's a big move if things move a third of a percent. Gets interesting in Aussie at 67.35, but now today that's so far. We don't really, um, you know, we don't really have any interest in that. We've been looking at this top side all week. Nothing came to fruition, um, but here we are. Aussie got hit with some PMIs. Looking more forward than backward, uh, let's take a look at this Euro, because we have PMIs out today. We have French and German, and then the overall aggregate manufacturing and services PMIs coming out of Europe today. Expectation is just for real negative, uh, negative number here. We had some focus at this uh, 111.15. Looks incredibly unlikely now. Uh, I guess the most likely scenario here is these numbers are going to suck. Um, and Euro gets hit. 110.60. Very, very important. Um, double bottom here. Uh, there will be some risk below 110.60. And that opens the gate. For these lows, I believe the year's low is 11029. Um, of course, as we've been talking all week, the elephant in the room is Jackson Hole tomorrow. 4 p.m. Swiss time, Powell's going to give his speech. Uh, so. I'm not super hopeful for a wild day, although PMIs could could shake things up. We're going to trade this just as a number, so we'll be ready for the release, uh, especially the German number. The expectations are incredibly low. What are we, what are we expecting here? 43? Oh my god. Manufacturing is expected at 43.1. I mean, you can see the expectations are just so low. In order to miss on the downside, uh, I mean, we'd have to we'd have to show a number that just is so anemic. It's crazy. Where we could miss in Germany is on the services side. 54.1 uh, is expectation. So, we're just going to watch this closely. This will obviously also um, affect Boone's. No dog in this fight in Boone's. Uh, we still have in the back of our mind, there's a lot of stops up at, up at 180. We will fade that as sort of a capitulatory, one last capitulatory clear out. Um, if we see it... Uh, but Boons are going to move today with this uh, German German PMI. Let's look at Swissy, kind of crawling out of out of the grave here, in a very sort of slow, methodical way. This will be the big mover tomorrow, um, as U.S. bonds will give us direction on dollar Swiss tomorrow. Uh, it's actually not much to do there today. Cable. 
the shine has come off a little bit on this positive spin and momentum. Merkel and, and Bojo didn't say anything too new or too interesting yesterday. Um, really just basically 50 and 45 all day, nothing to do here in cable. We are looking for opportunities to get long. 121.80 is the sensible uh, spot. If we see prices up there, there will be ha there will have been a comment. There will have been some news, uh, or Powell will be incredibly dovish. Um, but that's sort of the line in the sand for us. Bull bear, 121.80. Stocks doing nothing, hanging out at the highs here. Um, we did print that sort of 39, 39 high. Um, we talked about this between 38 and 58, you want to sell. We did not sell 39s yesterday. Um, we're just keeping our powder dry for Powell tomorrow. I think what's going to happen tomorrow is Powell's going to be moderately dovish, but then just not dovish enough. And so we're going to get a move up and then um, kaleidoscope down in stocks during or after Powell. So we're keeping our powder dry. Um, expectations for me is that we're at least going to make a new marginal high here. This 29.44 is going to get going to get broken. So we shall see. Um, we shall see. Again, the elephant in the room is Powell tomorrow. A lot of people are just waiting for September now, which is annoying. Feels like the sands of the hourglass are just running this year. Um, but we'll see what we do. As you can see, I'm not super hopeful for today, uh, but we do have some Euro stuff in play. Well, yeah, Euro, yeah, we got to talk about this. If this is a shit show in, uh, in the, for the PMIs, and also if the ECB minutes, which are out midday today, um, if they are super bearish, 117.50 now is important. In fact, 117.58, low from the other day, should trigger a little bit of a cascade of selling. So we are watching this downside level in Euro Yen, 117.58. And obviously, if boons do n knock through 180, um, this will be our horse on the FX side. Finally, we have some U.S. news. We also have uh, manufacturing and services PMI out of the U.S. Expectations are everything sort of above 50 there, so we'll have to see um, if anything sneaks below 50. And we'll watch the stock market as we always do. Um, so focuses on the PMIs today, ECB minutes, Euro dollar, uh, 110.60, 111.16, these are our bookends. Just talked about the Euro Yen, not super hopeful the way things have been going this week. I think the entire week's trading is gonna be in done in one hour on Friday at 4 p.m. So hang in there, guys. Uh, be patient and good luck. Make some dough today. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.